Everyone has asked questions about using the shower in a Class B van. This is my shower in a Coachman 22C Class B van. I'm going to explain to you modifications I have made and why it's possibly the best shower I've ever used in an RV. This is the latch I installed to make sure that the doors stay closed going down the road. Yep. Inside my Class V, you can see all the modifications that I've made. For demonstration purposes, I'm not going to pull the carpet out of the bottom. Uh, the toilet has been changed. This is a Dometic and not the Tiford toilet. The main changes were made because of YouTubers Irene Arns. Uh, the big change is this toilet flushes 360 degrees all the way around so it has much less smell than the Tiford and it does a better job of flushing. The shower curtain runs on an extended shower curtain rod. I do have a bungee cord on each side and this keeps the shower rod from coming out and hitting the glass shower doors. I did put a small hole in the command strip hook to fasten the bungee cord to it. It's not just around the hook. I take it and hook it over. Same way on the other side. I hook it inside, I grab it from the top, it's easier to do with two hands if you're not holding a camera, and hook it. This keeps it inside. It will come out if you do not have the bungee cords on there. This is where I store my long bungee cord, and you'll see how it's used in just a minute. I have two clips on the side, one high and another one low, just about toilet height. Same thing on the other side, a stainless steel clip high. These are chip clips. I put VHB tape behind them to hold them in place. And another one located down here. I have the shower miser, which is a standard item from Coachman. I took the very cheap uh, shower valve they have. Everybody knows that you could move it a quarter inch and go from freezing cold to scalding hot. This is a Meissen solid brass shower head. I'm not sure if this will show on the video or not, but it has a spot where you can move it colder or to a stop. This is a hundred degrees. You have to push this button to turn it past 100 degrees. Most of the time I've found that I may be turning it down, not up. You really don't need it much hotter than 100 degrees. I did install a 90 degree fixture on the bottom for the shower head that goes up on the top. The purpose of the valve is once you run your uh, diverter, this side turns it on and turns it off. So you can go ahead and use your shower, turn it on if you want water this way, and turn it off this way. So I use it, I soap up, I get wet, soap up, I turn it off while I'm soaping up and turn it back on. With this valve here, after you've run the shower miser, as soon as you turn it on again, you will have 100 degree water. You won't have to wait for it to heat up. Let me explain to you how I fasten my curtain. First, I remove both bungee cords from the top. I take the top shower curtain before I get in. I clip it behind the top clamp. I'm not sure if the bottom clamp will show on the video, so I'm going to move it down. 
the bottom one I do the same way I give it a good clamp behind there so I'm now fastened on the top top and bottom the next item I pull down is my shower curtain I clip it on the top not the shower curtain my uh, bungee cord for the shower I fasten it to one side the bottom hinge in the other side of the bottom hinge you can see it in the picture it's connected here connected on this side this will hold the shower curtain in place with it out the next step is done after I enter the shower I bring it around to here I fasten the shower curtain on the top and on the bottom so this is inside the shower the shower extender is extended out the curtain is in top bottom and the bottom if you look at it is totally enclosed inside the shower I'm going to unclip it to step out I normally do not clip this from the outside but for demonstration purposes it's easier to do if you're in the shower This is a shower curtain set up, ready to go. Shower extender out, giving you room inside. The sides are both tucked in, held in place by the clips. The bottom is held in place by the bungee cord, keeping the shower curtain inside and not allowing any water on the floor. I've used many times, uh, we no longer get water on the floor. We have a good comfortable shower just works for us. I hope if you have any questions, you'll ask him. I will provide answers. Thank you. Please like and subscribe if you like this video.